summarize let's sit quietly and we said that loneliness is a curse while solitude can be a blessing loneliness is about seeking solace from the world outside i'm not feeling complete and whole in myself so i'm looking for the world outside company outside to make me feel whole solitude on the other hand comes when i understand that the world outside can do very little to truly solace me and i start looking for solace within myself and we explored several ways of finding solace within the first solace is kalyan shraddha or bhadram to hold constantly in my mind that every experience i am having there's a divine power making for good and growth through that experience so never to feel crestfallen abandoned or at loose ends the second is the way of surrender if this divine power is so beautifully working out everything for me i can be open i can flow with life i can give up the frustration of trying to control outcomes and receive whatever life gives me with good grace as a blessing and the mother says that the best always happens to those who can truly live in surrender a best which may not be at once visible to their mental seeing but a best which is always good for their spiritual growth so surrender is the second way the third way of seeking solace inside is non-judgmental awareness to live ensconced in the faith that i live in a friendly universe where every force in the universe is fighting my battles along with me so if that is so i don't create enemies by looking for them even in the apparent hostility of the moment my inner vision looks for the smile of the friend behind that hostility because everything is the immutable mother smile wearing a mask so i just smile and watch and drop my judgments about it because to judge the reality of any person i'm trying to judge the eternity that mother is because unless i know everything about the person from the beginning of time my judgment about the person will always be false and inaccurate so to drop judgments and criticisms and that brings us to the fourth aspect love there's a beautiful definition of love which is to see without judging to really see any aspect of existence without preconceived notions and judgments is love and when i'm in the field of love i can never be lonely the mother says that only those are lonely who want to be loved but if i'm always in a state where love is effortlessly flowing from me then i cannot be lonely 
So this in short is the journey from loneliness to solitude. Sri Aurobindo's lines The one who learns to live alone finds God. His lonely universe is their place of rendezvous. And then it's of course not lonely anymore. It's a universe of solitude.